for another episode of news. My name is Caroline from the N team, and yes, I'm back as your host for today. Let's get the ball rolling with some local news right here in Korea. We recently hosted a Kona N test drive event in i n j e s p e d i u m where local journalists and car loving enthusiasts in general got a sneak peek at what the all new Kona N has to offer. They were able to get some time behind the wheel on both the street and the racetrack, getting full hands on experience with the different drivers. Driving modes to hearing the roar of the true hot SUV. The overall feedback? A wolf in disguise. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe in Finland, several journalists were able to drive both the I-20N and I-30N. This racetrack day took place in Vanta Circuit on a stormy Wednesday, but our beloved I-20N and I-30N didn't fail to impress. We were told the highlight of the day was going on a test drive with Riku Tahiko, who currently drives a Hyundai i20 R5 class car in Rally Championship. It sure must have been a blast. Now for the best part of news. Sharing news on all our dedicated enthusiasts out there. Our enthusiasts of N Club Florida have been continuing their tacos and turbos tradition which was first held on December last year. It's said to have been backed by popular demand ever since, and they recently hosted their sixth event. Every Tacos and Turbos night is said to be held at Fuzzy's Taco Shop e l t a m o n t e So for those of you in Florida, what are you waiting for? But if you're not a fan of tacos, then stay tuned for another KDM night which was recently hosted in May. We asked you to battle buckle up as we mark the grand start of N racing season. Just in that first week of June, we raced in three major racing events, or as we like to call it, the Motorsports Week. We had too many outstanding results, so here's a quick summary. In the a d e a c h e Total 24-Hour Race, aka the Nürburgring 24-Hour Race, our Elantra NTCR and i30 NTCR came in first and second respectively, claiming the first ever TCR class victory. Yay! Meanwhile, in the SP2T class, our I-20N swiftly crossed the finish line, also coming in first in its class. On the same day and location, our Elantra NTCR took home 1-2 podium at the first WTCR race of the season. Finally, our WRC drivers claimed third on the podium and gained max power stage points at Rally Italia Sardinia. Hip hip hooray to our great achievements! Speaking of motorsports, we can't leave out our electric debut in the first ever pure ETCR round in Valle Lunga. Claimed a maiden win in Battle 1 and secured second in the overall race standing. Let's hear what our correspondent on site has to say. After two years of research, testing and developing, we are finally having the showdown with the Velasta N ETCR here in Valle Lunga, close to Rome, in the first touring car racing series. And I'm sure, and I've talked to the drivers racing this race, that the excitement and the fun to drive is just as great as with combustion engines. A serious set of teaser photos of the all-new Elantra N has been revealed, but you'll have to wait just a little bit longer. I think I'm not supposed to tell you more at the moment, but just for those of you who tune in to news, something is on its way next week. I heard something about dots and coats, so let your imagination run wild. Before we part, here's a tip on winning brand new M merchandises which will launch this month. Remember this post on our Instagram channel a few months ago? That's when we kicked off the Greatest Roads project. Please share your go-to road with us. Tag Greatest Roads and make sure to mention the road's name. We'll be showcasing your entries along the way. Alright folks! This is it for this episode of news. If you know of any fun going around in your community, let us know in the comments. We'll make sure all our enthusiasts around the world get word. Toodles!